are looking off to the north, you can see we had plenty of cloud cover really all day. A good amount, of, good amount of showers and storms pushing their way around the Concho Valley. Just here in San Angelo, not a ton of that rain pushing through. We had a good light rain pushing through later this evening, but as far as total rainfall, most of it stayed around Tom Green County today. Temperatures at the 10 p.m. hour down to 73 here in town. 74 over in Brady is going to be that warm spot. Down towards I-10, 73 in Junction right now. 71 for both Ozona as well as El Dorado and into Mertens going to be that cool spot out there. Not going to cool off too much more because of these dew points being so high right now. Look at that 72 degree dew point in Junction. 70 here in town. Same for Robert Lee off to the west. Just a little drier. 69 up there in Sterling City. Ozona at 65 in those humidity indices. Way up there. Eden coming in at 98%. So we could see potentially just a little bit of fog. But like I said, we won't be cooling off too much more because of those dew points being so high right now. Moisture tracker showing you where we have a lot of this moisture starting to push in towards Texas from the Gulf right now. Those shades of dark orange pushing right towards the Gulf Coast from about South Padre through Houston. And we had some good shades of orange pushing into our region. and We're going to hold that moisture pretty good over these next 48 hours. That's going to help out our rain chances and going into your Labor Day. This is the severe weather outlook you can see looking to stay sub severe across the country but areas towards the Rockies as well as through the Sun Belt looking at that general thunderstorm activity and that really includes almost the whole state of Texas just parts up there towards Amarillo are escaping that going into tomorrow national satellite out there showing you where that uh, coast cold front is still bearing down on the east coast over there and then pushing into Texas giving us some good rain with moisture pushing off from the moist, uh, mountains of Mexico as well and as we zoom in towards the Concho Valley you can see where we had some good convection taking place earlier today but it was very quick in nature and that's kind of what we're going to see tomorrow as well except more widespread of that you can see where we had a good amount of showers and storms pushing through really across the entire region a couple of hours ago starting to fizzle out now and push off towards the west just a good storm going off towards the northern sterling county there as well as crockett county having a good couple showers out there right now and as we look at the rain we, we saw from today the past 24 hours menard reporting about three inches of rain from a good storm they had most of it really stayed right around san angelo the other parts of tom green county did get some good rain but a lot of the entire region Got some good drought busting rain, so we'll keep on the lookout for that as we go through this future cast. You can see going into the overnight hours, it does want to bring in pot the potential for a couple of showers and storms working in from the northeast. So we'll keep that chance there for these next couple of days. But going into Labor Day, you can see how that radar starts to light up once again going into tomorrow afternoon and becoming very widespread going throughout the entire day, really, for some of those stronger thunderstorms pushing through. So you should be wary of some uh, high water on those roadways for sure. Going through your Tuesday, it's more of the same so be prepared keep that umbrella handy and just make sure to be ready for all that rain and looking at the potential for some forecast accumulation through about Tuesday night you can see wants to bring about one inches to three inches of rain for some of those higher spots where those downpours really start to develop so yeah that could lead to some potential for some flash flooding going into tonight we're going down to about 70 degrees we're on the lookout for a couple of scattered thunderstorms out there tomorrow becomes much more widespread going into the afternoon only looking to get up to about 78 degrees thanks to a lot of that rain cooled air so looking pretty cool tomorrow but also pretty humid out there and over these next couple of days looking very rainy through Tuesday but then we start to dry off in the back half of the week you can see 30 percent and 20 percent for Wednesday into Thursday and then pushing into next weekend that's where we start to see those rain chances really uh, dissipate completely and temperatures hover around that 90 degree mark that's all for your seven-day forecast but stick around for more case